allegedly. It's just the word allegedly. It's what I heard allegedly. It's on the street allegedly. I sing to the beat allegedly. 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 It's what I heard allegedly. It's just the word allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue allegedly. It won't help you allegedly. 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 Bitch, one of you was flat. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good Monday. I know I am. But we have to talk about the cloth, about the church. Pastor Jamal Bryant had a sit down interview with Krishan Rock, and these words fell out of his mouth. Krishan, you don't understand what kind of role model you are. You heard that right, role model, role model. What model, is, what role is she modeling? What mo What year did that model come out? I'm confused, I am befuddered, I am bewildered. I wanna know who is looking up to her and how did they get to such a low place in life where when you look up, you see Krishan. I want, cause normally that's someone and I don't believe in looking down on people, but she's usually round your ankles with her antics. Her antics are, low vibrational, so she stays close to the flow. So I want to know how low you got to go to look up at Krishan. I need to know. Can you help me? Can you get down in the comments and tell me true? Get down in the comments. You know what to do. I, I just, that took my breath away. And then her response also, also only filled my lungs with carbon dioxide, not oxygen, honey, not oxygen. She said that she grasps her influence on this world and she doesn't want to do secular music anymore. She wants to do hood gospel hood gospel. Someone said like a dinner roll. I wouldn't even consider her like a dinner roll to model myself after because her role seems to be moldy, a budget brand, improperly made in an electric oven, no less. Not even electric. You know, we keep it gas over here. Krishan and hood gospel. There are many ways to come to Jesus. So I'm not going to make fun of it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> oh my God. Hood <laughs> gospel. And then she did a freestyle. And it was just as talent filled as you would expect. Tell you what and tell you who. And speaking of who, Ariana Grande. Now, you can sing, but um, I thought you were an actress because an actress would have come up with a believable story to make it look like she didn't steal this woman's husband. She ain't gonna get on Vanity Fair and say people shouldn't believe the worst version of events and I'm not going to get into specific details. When you don't get into specific details, that means you stole that woman's husband. You be stealing me left and right. Try it with me, Heffa. Ooh, you the ones that women be worried about. You're why women can't have other women friends. You, you are that woman. You are that woman. And you're sorry. But your singing's on point. I can't argue with the music. But I will never let you round my man. Ever. And speaking of never letting them round your man, Costco has had to come out with the Diddy nonsense and put out a press release saying we are denying selling Diddy this product in bulk. 
I mean, with that much, you probably went straight to Johnson Johnson. I want to know, where do they get baby oil from? It seems like it would just be hot Vaseline. But child, he get that shit from the tap. He found a baby oil mine, a baby oil well. He was like the Clampets. Probably how he got his money to start Bad Boy. <laughs> now, in headlines that make you go, hmm, news, RFK Jr. and star journalist Olivia Nuzzi had incredible FaceTime sex and said they loved each other. Who the hell else but the person having the sex would say it was incredible? Ain't nobody in the next room listening to you have FaceTime sex being like, oh my God, that was incredible. Oh my goodness. That was the most incredible FaceTime sex I've ever had. Y'all, I... Also, I'm sorry, sweetie, it's FaceTime sex. How good could it be? You ain't having it that often if FaceTime sex is incredible. You don't know what you're doing with sex and FaceTime sex is incredible. I'm sorry, you need help. And speaking of who else is needing a little help, Darren Hansen, he needs a little legal help because he is getting ready to run Marvel's pockets. He gonna run Marvel's pockets. He's gonna run Marvel pockets tonight, tonight, tonight. Yeah, he owns the bye, bye, bye dance. He owns that. He taught it to NSYNC. They use it in the video, but he owns it. So uh, Deadpool did it in the movie and they didn't credit him and they sure ain't cut him no check. So he's hired a lawyer. And I would run, I would tell them I need as much money as humanly possible. I will need a percentage of the film or I will make it impossible to air. I will put in an injunction. I, I mean, it's Marvel. They got all kind of money. So whatever you were going to pay me, quadruple it. And then add tax. Give me all the money. I want access to the money. And speaking of access to the money, Naomi Campbell is trying to downplay her Rihanna drama. She said, you know, we're both women with two children, we're black women in this entertainment industry, and I will not allow cheap tabloids to pit us against each other. Now, Heffa, you and Jerry Face, um, I was gonna call him Jude Law, Law Roach was in that fashion show, Kiki and he he in, doing your little TikToks, very demure, very mindful. You was throwing shade, Heffa, and now you upset that you on the receiving end that everybody is looking at your finances with a fine eye. But you caught up in scandal yet again, yet again. Now you want to be all, oh, we black women with kids. Heffa, please. Heffa, please. Ooh, and speaking of another heffa, please. Real Housewives of New Jersey star, Louis Rulius has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy for one of his media companies as it tries to restructure. Teresa Giudice, if you don't get the hell out now, you are gonna be put out of your house yet again. What is it with you being attracted to felonious phallus and financial fraud? I don't get it. But then again, Dolores can't get a good man. Danielle Staub couldn't get a good man. And these are the women you surround yourself with. I mean, the only decent man you've ever slept with was your brother. And we know that couldn't carry on. In Heffa, She's Got It Coming news, Tamara Judd may be sued by not just Ryan from uh, this season of Housewives of OC, but Kelly Dodd says she may be getting a class action together over the defamatory comments she's made on Housewives of OC as she has a phone call with Jim Blano. I mean, Tamara, you are so nasty and so rude. You are the epitome of a hateful white woman. You are spiteful, you are bitter, and you are nasty. You are one of the foulest beings walking the face of the earth. If cancer had a personality, it would be you. It would be you. 
Your children don't want anything to do with you, the ones that aren't drug addicts. So all I can say is I hope they take every penny. I mean, your husband damn near died to get away from you. And you still don't realize you're the problem. Mm. Mm -hmm. In distressing news, Real Housewives of New York's Rebecca Minkoff admits to trying to stage a fake fight with Jenna Lyons, which Jenna turned down as fans slam manufactured drama and call for Bravo to bring back the OG. These heifers is already doing fake fights in season two. This is giving me Housewives of Dubai. And what do we want to say to Dubai? Goodbye, Dubai. And goodbye, NY. I'm sorry, but none of these women together do anything that moves me to watch the show. I mean, I'm going to tune in for the check. But not because I think the... I separately... I think that all of them are interesting and beautiful on their own, but together they come together and they lessen each other. That's what it is. They come with each other. Their drama is so contrived, dry, unseasoned. It's missing something. It's very, I'm here for the check. I'm here for the check. I, I mean, Uber, you ain't show none of your life. Get the fuck off the show. Get the, I'm sorry. If you're not going to show your life, there's no reason for you to be here. Be a friend of, be a friend of. I'm not interested in a commercial for hot sauce. If I wanted to watch a commercial for hot sauce, I'd watch that damn show where them people eating them wings and can't shit for two days. Because I know as hot as it is going in, it's going to be burning coming out. Sizzling. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, Lord. A Chris Brown domestic violence documentary is going to be released on the ID channel. And these are the same people that did Quiet on the set. I mean, my God. I, and you know what's crazy? This is not going to affect Chris Brown's tour numbers, his album sale. They're going to be like, yep, but he's still fine. The dick's still big. I want him. Even though he is a feces and probably a frustrated bottom, I find a lot of these men, they seem to give me frustrated bottom, and that's why they're taking out their anger on women when they're really mad at themselves for their homosexual urges. They're afraid to live in a world that they know is going to treat them like shit because they've treated other gay men like shit. They're afraid of their own karma. I hope he falls down a flight of stairs. That's the nicest thing I can say at this time. Do we recognize this person as Natalie Nunn? Because I thought this was Jiggly Caliente doing Butch Queen realness. I think it is time for us to say there is makeup for drag queens and there is makeup for women. I, I like my women to look like women and my drag queens to look like drag queens. And Natalie, you are ready, you know, to start your engine. You are ready to let the best woman win. You are ready to make drag queen history. I want to know what your lip sync song would be because this is drag. This is Jiggly Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. I'm telling it's drag. It's drag. It's drag. We're all born naked and the rest is drag. So I don't get it. I just hope you know what you're paying homage to. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. In jail news. Lorenzo Gordon was charged with PPP loan fraud just weeks after his baby mama, British Williams, gave a pre-jail interview claiming he was well aware of her fraud activities. Now Lorenzo has also pled guilty. The former professional basketball player has pled guilty, he's 41, to uh, one count of 
felony theft of government money. According to court documents, Gordon admitted to fraudulently applying for two loans from the Paycheck Protection Program and three loans from the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program. Both loan types were meant to help businesses and their employees during the COVID-19 pandemic. In the application for the loan programs, there was a false information about three companies that applied for the loans. According to court documents, Gordon received 107,000 in PPP and 165 in IED. Girl, so the omission came a part of his, it was a part of his plea and he's facing 10 years and a quarter of a million dollar fine. Who gonna watch the baby? Who gonna watch the baby? Who gonna watch the baby? Really? Both parents in jail for PPP? Pro like, that, that, you know, I miss when people knew how to scam. We gotta bring back the old school boosters. The girls that were going to, to Macy's and Hudson Belt Dillard's. And get you that Ralph Lauren for 75% off. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, you know, a little shoplifting. You ain't going to jail for that long. Y'all looking at prison, prison. British doing four hard years. Federal time. You went from being a basketball wife mm, to a jail John to prison pussy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Four years a lesbian. Four years a lesbian. And he facing 10. He going to be in there tooting for towels, not tussy. At least he's used to the locker room situation. I tell you. I tell you. Well, were those today's top stories? Did I miss anything? I don't think I missed anything. Oh, Brandy Glanville. Brandy Glanville, I was like, I knew I was missing something. Girl, Brandy Glanville. I um I I would feel sorry for her, but I know how she votes. So I'll never waste an emotion on on a woman like that. I won't. But her lawyers did what lawyers often do. They lied. They lied to get the retainer to pay for their, I'm guessing, probably their summer rental in the Hamptons or Catalina Island. <laughs> and, um, and now they've told her, we're dropping you as a client. Like Columbia Records dropped this This is my you. Like they dropped him as a client. Now they uh they dropped her. They just said, no, nope, we're not, we're not gonna represent you no more. So she can't sue Andy without representation. And once the lawyer tells you you ain't got a case, baby, you ain't got a case. I think they also like, I think they just lied to her up front because this is also Brandy Glanville. She is inappropriate by definition. So I'm sure she sent Andy more inappropriate messages where you could say, oh, well, you felt free to send her something inappropriate because you had that type of relationship. 